I had one kind of solid day where he was around and I kind of peppered and plagued him with questions. Um, and then he was around, he was around a lot. He kind of dipped in and out. He, I think he was as genuinely intrigued as to how this instrumental moment in his life was gonna play out. And hopefully we did, we did right by him. There was a, a relief that it wasn't specifically him. The character wasn't Tom Juno. You know. So th there's a great amount of pressure that's r relieved. Um, but g getting to know him and respecting him and, and loving him, I wanted to do right by him. I wanted, you know, I wanted to make sure that I hoped that he would go, you got it right. I truly don't think there's anyone else who could who could have played Fred Rogers in that I know I've said this before they Fred Rogers and Tom Hanks elicit the same noise when you say oh Fred Rogers people go ah oh, and then you go it's played by Tom Hanks they go ah oh. so they couldn't have been a, a better casting and not to do him a disservice what he does in this film is something of alchemy. I don't know how he does it. It's not impersonation. And of course, we always go for, you know, the essence or embodiment of something. But I was staggered by what he did. I still don't quite understand how he did it. Everything Fred stood for was not, it was not necessarily, you know, or peace and love, because he dealt with very difficult um, issues and themes. I think, his, I think his greatest message is, was that to listen to the other person. As a result of that, other things can unfold. If you listen properly, then empathy will, could follow. Um, and I think, and I include myself in this, that our ability to listen has, has veered from, from the path. That was a, an incredible moment to see their reaction. You know, as we were in WQED um, studios and they'd recreated the, the actual studio to the nth degree, to watch all those who'd worked, you know, Marty and Bill Eisler and, and especially Joanne Rogers, to walk in and, and, and see the set again, it was, it, was, it was an incredible moment to be witness to. God bless Tom Hanks for like, you know, he was playing Fred Rogers in front of Fred's wife and all his greatest friends. But you know, if anyone's gonna wear those, step into those titanic canvas shoes, it would be Hanks. It is a gentle reminder just to say, you know, we should, if you can, try and listen. And if you listen, then as a result of that, other things, empathy, kindness, will, fo will follow. So, you know, I hope that whatever people take away from this movie, if you take a moment, that's the first step. And usually from that, the listening will come a little easier.